Your keyboard might actually be holding you back from hitting your potential and your actual skill ceiling. This $30 keyboard is basically a noisy budget Wooting 60HE. And this $70 one is a mechanical one which is also marketed as gaming but they're completely different. The $30 one has almost every feature that the Wooting has and they are pretty well executed. But I'm only going to look at one technical aspect of this because I've always firmly believed that if you really need a feature to be able to hit a scale, you don't actually have the scale. One of the most common misconceptions that I see is that the polling rate is how fast your device is. That actually isn't true. The polling rate is how fast your computer and your device communicate. That has nothing to do with the speed of the sensor, the switches or how fast anything is scanned. By smashing a few keys online and measuring the time input between them, you can kind of guess how fast your keyboard actually is. And from here, we can derive the true polling rate of the device. In Apex Legends, a super glide is a moderately skill intensive procedure. You have a 1 to 2 frame input window in which you have to enter a crouch input right after your jump input and this is in the time of a single frame. Now at a lower estimate of about 60 fps, you have about 16 milliseconds for each input. So that is moderately easy. But as your fps increases, the window shrinks, so your timing has to be near perfect. Now here's the problem, if your keyboard only has a true polling rate of about 125Hz, that is an 8 millisecond window between your input collection. Meaning, if you gave your input between those 8 milliseconds, your game engine actually never sees the order or the interval of those inputs as they are both given at the exact same collected frame. So, especially at a high FPS, a super glide with this kind of keyboard is basically impossible. Now, even without custom actuation points or any of the fancy features, I am able to hit super glides with about 90% consistency with this $30 keyboard. All because it has analog switches and a much faster scan rate than my other one. This consistency is almost on par with my $200 Wooting 60HE which I used to have. Now I don't really have my Wooting anymore but I'm pretty happy with this one. It's not actually all about your polling rate or the price of the keyboard. It's about how fast your keyboard actually scans your inputs. Your next movement tech might depend on it.